<laughs> the 2020 Democratic field is now leaning even further left with outspoken Trump critic Congressman Eric Swalwell jumping into the race. Basically, every Democrat trying to take on Trump is pushing radical socialist policies while at the same time attacking capitalism. The only way to meet some of these historic challenges is to be able to use this engine of capitalism. Now, having said that, it is clearly an imperfect, unfair, unjust, and racist capitalist economy. We are going to transform this economy and this government and create a system that works for all of us, not just the 1%. I believe in capitalism. I see the wealth that can be produced, but let's be really clear. Capitalism without rules is theft. Former Starbucks CEO Howard Schultz is calling out these 2020 liberal contenders. All these politicians who are crying about capitalism, have they ever made a payroll? Have they ever worked in a business? What have they done other than criticize the system? We do have a small crisis of capitalism. And what, what I mean by that is that the rules of engagement for a company today, given the fact that the government can't solve all these problems, is businesses and business leaders must do more for their employees and the communities they serve. And we're just learning that Bernie Sanders says he's going to release his tax returns by Monday. He's, of course, downplaying the fact that he is... Well, a millionaire. Mr. Gutfeld, Bernie's a millionaire. Yeah, you know, and who would have thought? But you know what? I'm glad he's a millionaire. Me too. Yeah. I'm glad because everybody should do the best that they can. The platform that you run on should be about making a great system greater, not destroying the greatest system that's ever been created. They talk about inequality. Capitalism has done more about inequality than anything. If you look in history, yep. everything has been unequal. At least capitalism gives you the opportunity to move from static income brackets. I've, I've moved in every income bracket from nothing to something and back again. And, and almost all inequalities can be exp explained not by race, but by age. The median age for the Japanese Americans is decades higher than Hispanics. So they would have a higher income than Hispanics because they're 20 years on average older. The, once you start looking at these inequality, uh, uh, these, in, these inequality arguments, they kind of fall apart. Mm. So you should be embracing capitalism and free markets because that makes the world a better place. Stop complaining, you babies. <laughs> it is interesting to see someone like Howard Schultz a full-fledged capitalist and a running in the Democratic Party and lodging a well, lot he, of the And attacks. he's very frustrated, right? So he is the largest job generator of his generation. And remember, when he came and did the first interview at Fox, uh, he said that Liz Warren had come to him asking for a donation and that he had denied her Ooh. that. So there's... You know, I also... I know exactly... I can tell you exactly when Bernie Sanders is going to release his tax returns. I know exactly when, when. the bar report comes exactly. out. Exactly. <laughs> as soon as the bar report comes out, his press that's... office is going to say, send out the tax returns and no one will and talk about it. And that's why you were a press secretary. You definitely understand the timing. Dagan, what do you think? Uh, capitalism under attack in the primary. Well, if you go through everything that these major candidates have talked about, it's like a uh, hunk a hunk a burning socialist pageant, right? That they're, Elizabeth Warren loves wealth because she wants to confiscate it. That's her plan. It is full on Soviet Union wealth confiscation. Soviet Union? Yeah, it's wow. totally communist. We're going to come and take your money. Wow. Bernie Sanders, get rid of private insurance. He's going to have, a, I guess, an addendum to this plan, but he's essentially telling the American people we're going to kick 150 to 180 million people off their private insurance, and then Bernie and Liz and Kamala and Cory Booker get to decide what kind of health care you get. And then Eric Swalwell kind of went down the list. Uh, the, it, you know, he's the, the Ken doll of the bunch trying to figure out which socialist policy hadn't been claimed yet and now he's going for gun confiscation so good luck with that we do have a constitution and a second and, amendment and we've already forgotten about beto that guy faded faster than a speeding bullet <laughs> <laughs> those don't fade those will still kill you Dave. yeah 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 you don't want to mess with okay that. juan um you know all the democrats had to do running against donald start? trump just be normal and not go crazy, and they can't help themselves. They are going crazy. I don't think they're going crazy at all. Most Americans think we have income inequality. But I wouldn't just say, let me start with Howard Schultz. Okay. Howard Schultz 
goodness gracious, he is so irrelevant to this whole conversation, except when it serves your purpose. Because guess what? He's not even running as a Democrat. He's not? He's not. And you thought so. Independent? Yeah, that's what he says right now. And guess what? You know, Howard Schultz, the only purpose he serves right now is to get Trump reelected. Mm -hmm. You know, to try to divide up support for Democrats. Well, he but let says me... he isn't going to run if the, he will only run if the Democrats elect somebody so far left. In other words, yeah. So he's, he's like, you know, kryptonite for Democrats. I don't get it. But anyway, the second point is about capitalism. And I think capitalism is very American. I'm a capitalist. But I also think there are rules. And rules are very American like. I believe like a in border? the border is a rule. Like, <laughs> yeah, like a Securities and Exchange Commission. Do you guys believe in that? Do you believe in yeah, things like that? We have one. one. They oh, yeah. instituted That's that right. decades ago. Right. So we have a Securities and Exchange Commission that puts limits on capitalist behavior, like we have a Federal Reserve that handles interest but rates. Anyone... Again, that limits. was like a hundred years no, ago. No, but you remember, this is these are all limits. Consumer protections, Elizabeth Warren, she's gotten a lot of attention with that. That's not a hundred years but ago. But is anyone saying um, they're gonna take those away? Well that's no? the point. We do not have unfettered capitalism that you guys want to sit here and celebrate. There are limits and we believe in rules and limits they want to destroy when you have excesses. Not, not they don't want to destroy capitalism. They yeah. want capitalism yeah. that serves the people. Taking away every American's private health insurance is not a rule. Oh, get out of here. <laughs> Yeah, right. social security. Oh, suddenly that's that's socialism. No one's getting that's their money. It's that's our money. There, can I quickly say sure. this? Bernie Sanders' political director, who spent part of her childhood in Venezuela, once told the Atlantic a few years ago, it is it was better to live on poverty level wages in a shanty town in Venezuela than on a garment worker salary in Elizabeth, New Jersey. This is one of the many many socialists working on his team. Uh, yeah, He's the millionaires' campaign. Bernie Sanders, congrats. <laughs>